So if you have a complex number in the trigonometric form like we have here, all you have to do is take the nth root of the r value. So if it's, you know, the cube root, this is going to be 3, the cube root. And then uh, you're going to take the angle plus 2 pi k divided by whatever root you're taking. So if it's the cube root, n is going to be 3. If it's the fourth root, it's going to be 4 and so on. But k is always going to be 0, 1, 2, all the way up to n minus 1. So if you're taking the cube root, you're actually going to get three answers. K is going to be 0, 1, and 2. If you're taking the fourth root, there's going to be four answers, and it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. So whatever uh, root you're taking, you're going to get that many uh, solutions, and you're going to start at the k value 0, 1, 2, all the way up to n minus 1. So let's take a look at an example, and we'll walk through it. So say we want to find the cube roots of this complex number, which is in trigonometric form. What we're going to do, since we're taking the cube root, we're going to take the cube root of 8, which is 2. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the cosine of 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k, oops, 2 pi k, all right, all divided by, in this case, 3, because we're taking the cube root, plus i sine 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k all divided by 3. Okay, so now all we have to do is substitute in k equals 0, 1, and 2. So we're going to get three answers. So our first answer is going to be 2 cosine. If k is 0. 0 times 2 pi is 0. So this is just going to be 2 pi over 3, which is 2 pi over 9, plus i sine 2 pi over 9. Okay, the next one is going to be 2 cosine. Okay, now k is 1, so we have 2 pi which is actually 6 pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3 is 8 pi over 3 divided by 3 is 8 pi over 9 plus i sine 8 pi over 9. And then the third one is going to be 2 cosine. k is 2 now, so that's 4 pi, which is um, 12 pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3 is 14 pi over 3 divided by 3 is 14 pi over 9 plus i sine 14 pi over 9. And that's it. So those are your three solutions. And what you can do is you can distribute the two, okay, and you can translate this back into the standard form, the a plus bi form of a complex number. So again, just